Out here at the cow pasture, there's the cows. We're going to say hello, cows. Say hello, cows. And uh, we're going to take the Carbon Z Cub SS up and uh, see what we can do. Second flight of the day. I'm running a Conexus 5006S um, with a 30C discharge in it. I have Safe Select is in the receiver, but it is not turned on. I have A3X only running. That's my preference. And uh, we're going to take off no flaps, just airfoil only. Let's see what we can do. Now, I, I got to tell you, folks. If you're thinking about a giant scale plane, you know, and you have some experience with some larger foamies and things like that, this is the plane to get. You're saying, yeah, but she's she's 430 bucks for the Biden flight. Yeah, and she's worth every penny. She really is. She's worth every penny. Now, now folks, I'm not going to be doing anything crazy today. I'm just doing some landings and takeoffs sort of idea here. Whoa, not exactly the best, but um, mainly because my wind is probably the worst wind conditions I can, you can have for uh, these planes as far as my landings go. wind is out of the northwest right now and this is not how this field runs but uh, she's just a good plane I, I, don't, I don't know you know I run out of things I can say about these planes they're just A little bit better of a landing. I will tell you that the, the landing gear on this thing is probably some of the best landing gear. It's an articulated landing gear. It's got heavy duty springs. Uh, very, very, very heavy duty, very robust. Well, you can see I got some crappy landings here and I guarantee you there's absolutely no damage to that at all. It's uh, reinforced. Oh, nice takeoff there. Uh, reinforced uh, with uh, a hardened plastic and steel. And uh, yeah. There, that's full speed right there. She'll fly inverted for you all day long. Nice little loop to loop there. <laughs> Not what you're supposed to do, but hey, I try to here, do a rudder turn there. I try to fly my planes. Sometimes I, I try to fly them as scale as possible. This is not a super scale plane. Um, this is a made for the hobby plane, but it's very It's very much very closely resembles your carbon Z Cub or your carbon uh, Cubs that are the full size. And very closely run. This has the squared off wing tips and they turn down just a little bit, which, grapes, which is great for your tip stall situation. Helps with that. It actually got a little more wing area because of that. Okay. Let's get her turned around here. Stay out of the trees, that's never good. Let's see if we can't do a nice slow pass here. There we go. Nice slow pass there. Put them flaps back up. Put on some coals here. There's your knife edge there. Go ahead and fly her up over the sun there. Pretty silhouette there. Okay. All right, let's get her a nice rudder turn here. 
Well, rudder and aileron turn. All right, about an eighth of a throttle now. Flaps are all the way down. Okay. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Let's turn her around here. All right. Beautiful plane. <laughs> Put her flaps back down. See where I'm at? I'm I'm halfway through. You start running. You start uh, run, uh, lining up your landing halfway down the field there. As you're going the opposite direction, then you turn into the to your turn. You turn into it, and you turn into your landing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now that's what that's what you that's what it's all about, right there. Just let your wheels just gently touch and lay her down. That's the way to do it. And I know all my landings are that way, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I know that's a that, that turn I do right there to get her to turn the other direction. That's not really what you're supposed to do. But you know what? I'm doing what I, I enjoy. See, I've already, I'm halfway down the field. I'm going to start making my turn now. Where I got my flaps down. Using my rudder. Folks, don't neglect your rudder. Don't neglect your rudder. So many people don't use that rudder, and I don't know why. That rudder is, is just, it's there for direction, it's there for correction. It's there to help you get out of bad situation, as is all the, everybody relies so much on the ailerons. So let's go see, we'll take off flaps this time. And see, she lifts right off. Now, I'm not doing anything fancy today, folks. Put my ailerons on, or my flaps on. Get into my turn. Now, see, if you didn't have enough speed right there and you do that turn, you'd do a tip stall. A little bit of pressure, back pressure, and just set her down. Okay, we got enough juice for one more. Let's take off to our takeoff flaps. Put her flaps up. All right, now I'm about, about halfway down the field. Put my flaps back down. Okay. A little bit of right elevator, or right el or rudder. Turn her in, line her up. And this is where you use your rudder to correct your direction. There you go. Now see, that's what we're talking about right there. You just set them wheels down and let them kiss the ground. If you can get away without burning or bending some grass, it's even better. <laughs> but isn't that a pretty bird? Isn't she just, just a beautiful bird? All right, we got 24 seconds on the clock. We're not going to take her anymore. We're not going to push that battery. And uh, thank you for watching. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. Are you a happy bird? You're a happy bird. All right, throttles off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is the Carbon Cub, Carbon Z Cub SS by E-Flight.